it would befit you to overcome your hesitation. Don't be like the others who follow Jesus like sheep. And don't be fooled by the beauty of the women around Jesus. Beware. Women can be deceiving, and you have already been deceived. You and I must discover what this fire is that is burning the children of Israel. Is it the flame of God or Satan? <laughs> now be frank with me, Judas. Will you help me? Help? Yes. Will you help me unravel this mystery? Will you help me, Judas? You must give me some time. The only time I have to give is very limited. Quickly rising is the flame and fame of Jesus. Don't worry, I won't take long to decide. We reach Tiberius at dawn the next morning. There is a lake, and beside it, a small town. Both had taken their names from Tiberius, the man who was Caesar of Rome at the time of Jesus. Master, we have all read in the book of Moses that it was Isaac with whom the covenant of God was made and not Ishmael, the forefather of Arabs. Yes. So it is written in the book of Moses. But Moses wrote it not, nor Joshua. Master, Moses nor Joshua wrote it? Then who wrote it? Verily I say unto you, the high priests and rabbi. It was they who wrote it. My God. What priests? They don't fear God. Right. Those priests do not fear God. How did they do it? With pen. Verily I say unto you, Listen ye, and know that when ye find out the truth, ye shall discover the malice of the Pharisees, scribes, and doctors. For Gabriel said, Abraham, all the world shall know how God loves thee. But how shall the world know the love that thou bear to God? Assuredly, it is necessary that thou do something for the love of God. Abraham answered, Behold the servant of God, who is ready to do all that which God shall will. Then spoke God to Abraham, Take thy son, thy firstborn, and come up to the mountain to sacrifice him. Master, it was then when Abraham took his eldest son, Isaac, to the mountain. How is Isaac the firstborn, if when he was born? Ishmael was seven years old. How can that be? Master, obvious is the deception of our doctors. Therefore, tell us about the whole story. Barnabas and you, my apostles. 
Satan always seeks to annul the laws of God. Hypocrites and evildoers today have indeed somehow managed to contaminate all things. Until it is such that the truth can scarcely be found. Woe to the hypocrites! For the praises of this world shall turn for them into insults and torments in hell. I therefore say unto you that the last messenger of God who shall be a progeny of Ishmael is a splendor that shall give gladness to nearly all that God hath made. For he is adorned with wisdom and might, prudence and temperance, chastity and mercy. He is adorned with justice and piety, gentleness and patience which he hath received from God three times more than he hath given to all his creatures. O blessed time, when he shall come. Master, tell us about him. I have seen him and done him reverence as every prophet has seen him. Seeing that of his spirit, God gives to them prophecy. And when I saw him, my soul was filled with consolation, and it said, O Muhammad, God be with thee, and make he make me worthy to untie thy shoelaces. And for obtaining this, I shall be a great prophet and Holy One of God. Woe on them! Woe on them that interpret Moses' teachings according to their faulty notions! Woe on the false prophets! Son of Mary, what chaos have you brought us again from the desert? The holy priests say you have permitted what Moses had forbidden. There are two forbidden types in Moses' religion. You are a scribe and an interpreter. Why don't you tell the people what the two types are? One is forbidden and the other is eating whatever is decayed and impure. Are the tallow and fat of cattle and sheep impure and decayed? Mm. Is the meat of clawed animals impure and decayed? Yes. Because of the rebellion and infidelity of the children of Israel during Moses' time. Because they practiced usury while they knew it was forbidden. Because they separated people from the truth of God's religion. And the Lord, in order to punish them, forbid for them some of the permitted. And I permit those forbidden. Impossible, I say. You are a heretic and you're separating people from the truth of religion. You deserve punishment. If you claim you've read the Torah, then you would know what the penalty for heresy is in Moses' religion. I believe not. No. It is your animosity that deserves punishment. 
Never do something that results in the forbiddance of other permitted causes. You are the biggest of deceivers. What you have done and claimed as miracles was nothing but magic and sorcery. It was cheating! At your house this morning, you refused a hungry Jewish boy a little bread. Though you have twelve sacks of flour, you have more than enough bread. And with your stock of olives, you could feed ten families. You merely have good informers. That is how you know what is going on in people's houses. Or perhaps I am a prophet, and in contact with the Holy Spirit, who reveals to me these things. Oh, Jesus, tell me what it is I have at my house. Judas, give this woman coin so she may feed herself and three children. But, Master, we have no coin. You, you have much food at home. Would you keep more than you need while your Jewish sister's children go hungry? You've more fish than you could eat. Instead of wasting it, give some to this woman. You have no fish at home, do you? He's lying. Now you tell him. Not only has he fish, he has yogurt, milk, cream, and honey. You ate much this morning. Gluttony is harmful to your body. What is he saying to us? He is trying to tell us that tallow and fat of cattle and sheep are permitted. If that is the case, then why not permit the eating of pork? And then tell the children of Israel not to circumcise! If not for the burden of my prophethood, I would not have stayed amongst you. And I will be with you but a short time. I know what it is you are plotting. We are not plotters. You are distorting Moses' religion with your teaching. All you want is to destroy this nation. You are a heretic. He is an infidel and has converted from Moses' religion. Tell everybody what I told you. Woe on you. Woe on you, lost one of Galilee. Satan is behind you. Renegade, accused, leave God's house. Go, away! Master, for the mercy of God, heal me. By leave of God Almighty, may you see, young man. He's praying. He is reciting the Psalms of David. But I'm not less than him. What are you planning? We'll take a woman to him. We'll take a woman to him, and we will testify that she is a proven adulteress. And the Nazarene will be forced to make a decision. He will have to punish her. He will have to punish her, and when he does, well, he will have acted against his own teachings. <laughs> He'll most certainly free her. 
He has never punished anyone before. So, he has dug his own grave. How? Well, he claims to have come amongst the people to enforce Moses' religion. If he doesn't punish her, he's violated Mosaic law. This Samaritan woman has corrupted Jerusalem's youths. She is full of wickedness! Oh, this is an outrage! Oh, she must be punished! Oh, no. She will be stoned! You. you will be stoned! Woman, you are guilty! You must be stoned! This isn't just! I have not sinned! I have not! You haven't? She says she hasn't sinned. Wicked. You deserve death. Wait, everybody. You're a man of God. Do you, as men of God, testify that this woman has done wrong? We do. She has sinned. Yes. Yeah, she has sinned. Yes. 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 Punish, punish. She must yes. be punished. I have not. I swear, I, I have not done any wrong. So, the Pharisees and the Sadducees are lying. But you, woman, are telling the truth. Based on the testimony of these servants of God, Stone you her. must be stoned. Stone her. She is wicked. She is wicked. She must be stoned. Stone her. Kill her. Hey, kill her. She made an example. Come on. Stone her. Kill her. Kill her. Stop. Look who has arrived. It is Jesus. We should let him decide the punishment. Right. It is he who claims to know Moses' rules better than the Pharisees themselves. I say that he must be able to judge. Wait. Here is the son of Mary. This woman's a sinner. The law states she must be stoned. Won't you tell us what to do? What should we do to this corrupt Samaritan? But I'm not guilty. I'm innocent. Liar! Adulterous! I am innocent. I came here from Samaria to find my husband. Ha! <laughs> She's lying. She's a liar. She's a liar. Oh, I don't She's a liar. liar. She's a liar. She's a liar. Look at her. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a liar. Who testifies to her adultery? I do. I saw her sin, this adulteress. So did I. Oh, God damn you for your lies! I saw her! Why do you all lie? She must be stoned! We come on, Jesus! Come on, come on! What are you waiting for? Jesus! Do it! Do it, Jesus! Stone do God's command! Do God's stone. command! Do come on! If you're here to teach Moses religion, then you must yourself abide by Moses' rules. What is your decision? Do you want to know what sinners really look like? I'll show you now.
Look into this mirror. He that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. A woman. Where are they, those who had condemned you? You are the prophet of mercy. I heard that wherever you are, you are a blessing. They have departed. My fate is in your hands. Blessed be the Almighty God. Woman. Go on your way. Go and sin no more. I am not sent by God to condemn Samaritans. but to save the sinners. Now rise and go. Tell me, if one of you had a hundred sheep and should lose one of them, What would you do? Would you not go out and seek it, leaving the ninety-nine? And when you found it, would you not lay it upon your shoulders and then rejoice? Now tell me, should our God love man less than sheep? The men for whom he has created the world around us. As God lives even so. There is joy in the presence of angels over one sinner who does repent because sinners make known God's mercy. I say unto you, the one you talk about is the final prophet.
the beginning of the second year of Jesus' prophethood was something similar to a dreadful riot. Jesus had warned us about it long before it happened. That day, on our way to Cana, we arrived in Capernaum when... How far is it to Jerusalem? We must pass Nain. It's not far. I hope we're lucky and don't run across those awful insurgents. That's what an armed escort is for. But I am worried about those superstitious people who think we are infidel. That is the only thing that is worrying me. You see, they have many false myths, a number to rival our 80,000 guides. Yes, you're right. You cannot imagine what hell they've turned our life into. Why did you volunteer to bring this idol to Jerusalem, when your place is the Pantheon Temple in Rome with so many pilgrims? From the Emperor to the Senators, why have you left Pantheon to take this statue to Jerusalem? I was looking for a way to meet someone here. Someone who I heard about last year in Rome, from a Jewish merchant. You mean the old sorcerer who does miracles in Judea? Uh, he isn't old. He's a young man. Meeting him would possibly change many things for me. Is indeed heavy. Have you really come such a long way to meet a wandering preacher? Yes. If the story about his birth is correct, then all our mythical stories about earthly gods will be confirmed. Once in every millennium, Jupiter copulates with an earthly virgin and sends a god to earth. That is the god's tradition. Master, the Romans. Master, why are they coming this way? They've brought an idol. What sign do you have to recognize him? I heard from a Jewish merchant that he sets alluring traps to attract his followers, you see. And I am hoping to come across one of those. What's going on up there? Be careful, there's a large crowd. It seems to be a Jewish funeral. What's going on? There seems to be a large crowd over there. It is a Jewish tradition, sir. They walk by their dead. God of Abraham, forgive us, and receive this youth in thy mercy. Receive him, God Almighty, and grant patience to his grieving mother. Amen. 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 That's him. Who is he? Jesus of Nazareth. So it is. Well, we'll ask him to raise him up. Surely even he can't do that. Jesus of Nazareth is here, the prophet of Galilee. Hannah, he can heal your son. He's not ill. He can't be healed. He's dead. Nobody can raise up the dead. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jeez. Jesus. Son of David, please raise up my son. Raise up my son! This is a good test. We rest here. Bring the damn statue over here. Fabianus has ordered us to rest. At ease. You too, Excellency Romulus. Son of Mary, was not your own birth a miracle? Please give us a miracle. God has given you the power to do anything. I beg you, please, hear my cries. <laughs> Raise up Jonas. Raise up my son. Almighty, do you see what these people are asking? They know not what they are doing, as if they are insane. Soon they will be calling me God. Grant their request, O Spirit of God. But, O oh Holy Spirit, do you not hear what they are asking? Son of Mary, fear not, for God has given thee the power over every infirmity. Almighty One, death is no malady. How am I to heal the dead? God has granted you power over death as well. So, messenger of Almighty God, thou shalt grant in the name of God and it shall be accomplished. Do what they ask of you. O oh God, the Almighty, Benevolent Creator, thy will be done. Weep not. He is not dead, but sleeping. Put him down. In the name of God, the God of two worlds, rise up, young man, rise. Just left. We should bring him back. No. We should leave him. I'll find him when the time comes. You there, you should call him God. Call him God, or son of God. My God, are you blind? He is not a God. He's God's messenger. 
There was no manifestation. We understand these things, even when Hebrews cannot. They are calling God a human. Nobody can compare a god to a human. It is preposterous and blasphemous. We should call him that which he deserves to be called. A god who deserves worship. And we shall worship him henceforth. What's the matter? Why are you saying in name? People of Jerusalem, listen! Listen, everybody! People of Jerusalem, Jesus raised a dead person in name. He brought to life a dead boy. He is our God! Listen to you people. You thought him to be a man. If such a man were in Rome, all would worship him like a god and would place his statue at the city gates. Let me talk to these ignorant people. I saw it. I saw it for myself, how he revived a dead person. Many others saw it in Nain as well. He is surely the son of God, if not God himself. In Nain! In Nain he revived a dead man! Do you hear, Barabbas? They say the Nazarene is not the messenger of God, but the son of God! Others say worse. There are some who say that Jesus is God himself. What about you? What do you see? Well, Barabbas? I say put them to death. Kill anyone who says such nonsense. Kill the renegades. All of them. Kill them all. But Barabbas, Think about it. The Romans will massacre everyone under the pretext of armed sedition. The Romans can't kill all the Jews, which is something between us. How can you be sure? Pilate is more eager than we are for an uprising, so the Jews will fight each other. Now quiet. Stop casting Romans under my teeth. Didn't you hear the chief? As from this moment, whoever calls Jesus God or Son of God shall be killed. People of Jerusalem, good tidings. Jesus is the Son of God. He raised a dead man in name. The Son of God has appeared to us. Jesus proved he is the Son of God. He has come to you. Jesus is the Son of God. He can raise the dead. I saw it with my own eyes. He is the Son of God. I saw it. Do you hear? He proved himself. He's not someone like us anymore. The mystery has been solved. Jesus is the Son of God. Listen to that. It's blasphemy. Well, it's a new era. It's a new era in history. And I think it will be difficult. It is no small thing. Listen to me! People, listen! Hear what I say! Our Lord in heaven has mercy on us. Once again, on us, the children of Israel. He has sent us Jesus, his chosen son. He sent him to save us, one and all. Jesus is the son of God. The Son of God! God has sent His chosen Son! Jesus is the Son of God! 
Jesus is the Son of God, not God. He is the Son of God, not God. Listen to me, people. Tell me, should we not get help from the real owners of this land to suppress all of this? This dissension? Jesus is the Son of God! 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 People! People, listen! Listen to me. Everybody in this city knows who I am. My name is Ephraim. Seven generations of my forefathers have served in the temple and let me tell you the son of Mary is a man of God nothing more may the God of Jesus guide each of you Jesus is the son of God he is a servant of God crazy people listen to me You're all fighting over Jesus, yet none of you know him. Jesus is neither a prophet nor the Son of God. He is a Roman God who has appeared here for us Romans. Shut up! All of Jerusalem has sunk into unrest and bloodshed. The people have all gone crazy. Jesus comfortably wanders about the land while there is rioting in the Jewish cities because of him. May God save us all. We must keep an eye on things.